Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus and welcome back to Ketra. In last video, we covered how to retopologize her shoulder. So now we are going to go over her hands so that we can get much more detail in her hands. Also create some nails to give her that Ketra look and we'll finish the 3D model. It's a big finale, so let's go ahead and get started. If you are new to the channel, I post 3D tutorials on a weekly basis. Software I cover include Maya, ZBrush, and Substance Painter. So if that is your sort of thing, please consider subscribing. Bring out your creativity, open up your software, and let's complete Catch Off from the Netflix series Shira. All right, cool. Now I'm going to create the claws next because I want to duplicate the body. I also want to give myself a little bit more edge flow. Now, the problem is, is that I want to add more geometry here, right? So I can make this a little bit more rounded, but it will go all the way up the arm into the neck. And I really don't want that. So I'm going to show you the multi-cut tool and how we can prevent that from happening. So I do want to fix my topology for my hands. I wanted to make her a little bit more rounded. I mean, it's okay, but I uh, definitely would like to have a little bit of an extra edge, but I don't want to add more on the arm. So I'm going to show you a little trick. So we're going to go over here to, you can either go to the uh, modeling toolkit and activate multi-cut, or you can always go to mesh tools, multi-cut, or if you're in object mode, shift, right, click, multi-cut. So there's a million ways to do these things. So basically the idea, and I'm going to start at the front and then move to the back, is that I want to have geometry in, in the finger, but I don't want to go all the way up, up the arm. So I'm going to show you a little trick. So what I'm going to do is click in the middle of this face, then go to the right, click in the middle of this face, and then go down. And then I'm going to go all the way to the bottom of the other finger. And that's going to give me the edges. However, we do have an end gone. So I just click on this corner, press enter, press enter. And now we have a very nice edge flow. And if we press the number three, you'll see how smooth and clean that is. So we can have higher geometry here and less geometry on the top. So let's do that again. We're going to start at the bottom of this finger. Whoops, make sure you click the right one up here. Go to the middle of the face, go to the right, click down and then go all the way here. If it lets me press enter, then we're going to go from one edge to the other. Press enter, enter, right? We got the geometry that we want. Let's move over here. So again, it should find it right here. Go all the way up. Click in the middle, go across, down, go all the way back to the bottom. There it is. Press enter. What's nice is it's going to give us a little bit more mesh to work with. Okay, one more time. Here, up, middle, middle, down. Complete the loop, press enter, and then clean up your end gons. So fast and easy. Nice. All right, I'm gonna grab some edges. Should go all the way around, awesome. And then I can kind of round them out a little bit. All right, let me grab some edges and just kind of fix the fingers a little bit. Just double check to make sure that looks okay. That yep, looks good. All right, let's grab more edges, bring them down and rinse and repeat. All right, you can press three to see what type of effect it has. It definitely looks more like fingers, <laughs> which is the point. All right. All right, cool. So that definitely looks better. Let's shrink these a little bit. Just want to scale them down just a little bit. Some of them look a little sausagey. Hand could use some love. So I'm going to use quad draw and just kind of smooth it out. And then 
We soft select. So I need to get out of Quadra. I'm like, what is going on? Yeah, get out of Quadra. <laughs> And I'm going to use soft select and just kind of push. Oops, must have something at the top here. Yep. Okay, just kind of push these up a little. Okay, looks a little better. All right, her fingernail. Let's grab a cylinder. I'm going to flip this 90 degrees. I'm going to reduce the subdivisions to, let's say, 12. Get rid of that cap to zero. And I'm going to delete. Oh, let me give myself a couple of heights. Basically delete half of it. I'm going to crush it a little bit. Grab an edge. Use soft select again. Bring it out, bring it in, make it into like a sharp claw. Grab these guys on the corner, kind of crush them a little bit. Okay, great. Now we're going to take this edge and again, we're in uh, soft select. Click on the letter B. If you don't have that, press W to move it up just a little bit. Same thing for this one. Just kind of give it a little bit of a curvature. And if that doesn't work, you can always just remove the V or the B for boy. So I'm just trying to give it a little bit more of a claw and claw appearance. All right, once we have this nail, let's grab the faces and extrude. There we go. And to be fair, I probably should have rounded this a little bit too. So let's grab the vertice, click, click on the letter B, and we can just kind of bring this out a little bit. All right, let's press on number three. Very cool. Let's maybe make these go up a little bit. In. I'm going to click on the letter B a little bit. Uh, just so it's not no longer a soft select. All right, now that I have this, let's click on the letter D for dog and just move this to the back of the nail, like so. It's just going to be easier to place. And I'm going to place it in here. It's ginormous, no problem. Just go ahead and scale. And we're going to just place the nail in here. Now, you could have grabbed these vertices and extrude, I mean, faces and extruded, but I felt um, I decided that it was probably a little bit easier for me to just make it my own myself. Let me even this out a little bit. Cool. So if we take a look at her side, you can see that she's got pretty ferocious claws. So I'm going to try to make that point a little bit pointier. And maybe curl it in a little bit. There we go. Yep. Don't want her to attack me with those. Let's duplicate it. Control D. Let's start placing them in the other ones. The other fingers. Control D. Make him smaller if you need to, so that it fits the nail or the, the finger better. Cool, looks good. D again. And 
one more. It's going to be fun when we texture her because it's really going to add those colors. Let's make that smaller, maybe a little flatter. There we go. Ferocious. Cool. All right. Let's. Go to the front view. Let's turn off X-ray shading X-ray and we're going to delete half of her because we need to mirror her to the other side. So let's go ahead and go to faces, delete half. Double check to make sure everything's OK. And isolate select. Here just to make sure. Looks good. Awesome. Click on the Oops. Click on the letter D to move this pivot point to the middle. D again, object mode. And now, and now we can go to mesh mirror. We can adjust this. Let me bring out the front just to make sure. Yep, there she is. Cool. And let me change my merge threshold to 0.1 so that the neck doesn't do anything crazy. Doesn't merge together. We've done it before, so it should be okay. And there she is. Cool. All right, let's grab these claws. All right, let's go ahead and center the pivot, freeze the transformation, so all that jazz. Control G to group it together. The pivot point will be placed in the middle. Uh, what I'm going to do is duplicate it. Pink gives me group 10 at this point. Change the scale X to negative 1. And it's not going to be perfect, but it's going to be close. Let's center that pivot. And then we are going to start placing it. It almost looks like it needs to be rotated. All right. We can do the same thing for the toes. Control D. Let's see. Something like that. Duplicate. Let me push it back a little bit. Duplicate. Push it back. Duplicate again, and then the little pinky toe. Oof. They're looking ferocious. All right, awesome. We're going to do the same thing. Grab these. Control G. Duplicate. Control D. Change this to negative one. Center that pivot. And adjust. The cool thing about grouping is you can select one, hit the up arrow on your keyboard, and then you can select the main group. So that should help. There she is. Very cool. She is basically done. Yay. So now that Catra is done 3D model, next is going to be UV mapping. So hopefully you found this tutorial helpful, especially when it came to retopologizing and maybe learned a new thing or two, maybe mirroring, grouping, or creating a group and then duplicating and then flipping it to the other side. Just a bunch of little tricks that you can do to make your pipeline go faster. If you like this video tutorial, please like and subscribe. That's your message to me, letting me know that you like these videos and that you want to see more. Please take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. There you can find free tutorials, free eBooks, and so much more. And also, if you want to support me further, you can take a look at my e-courses and purchase one because those courses are a deep dive into my uh, when it comes to modeling, texturing, lighting, and so much more. So again, take a look at academicphoenixplus.com. 
please share my videos. If you feel that someone out there could use a tip or two on how to model a character in Maya, please share my videos. That would be amazing. Again, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Keep creating and I will see you next time.